Welcome everybody and uh, good evening for our next webinar here at uh, JFT Bank. A warm welcome in the name of JFT Bank as well. Today's webinar is about JFT Invest Trading and Investing Simplified. So, as always, that's really a good choice to be informed uh, about JFT Invest. You will learn within the webinar JFD Invest is a digital wealth management uh, platform. You can follow professional traders with their strategy, strategies and you can have those um, trades, those strategies directly copied, mirrored into your account and how everything um, uh, is going through and uh, is managed. Yeah. That will be topic of uh, today's webinar. Of course, we will have, um, as always, the highlights of last week's the top performing strategy. Uh, we will have a look to my personal JFD Invest account because I have one account just for my own uh, investing in different kind of strategies. And let's see how that one develops over time. It has been opened September last year. And you will see how you can learn with that account what's really possible with JFD Invest because what I'm doing there is exactly the same you might do with your JFD Invest account. So, and finally, what we will do, especially today, is we do a quick review of all the strategies we have within JFD Invest. And uh, I will give you some brief details about uh, those strategies that you can learn a little bit more uh, that you can learn a little bit more about uh, what you might do if you invest in a specific strategy. Oh, I have forgotten to mention the date. Yeah, we have the 16th of May 2019, uh, 7 o'clock p.m., at least German time. Okay, but before we really start, you know, um, the procedure uh, procedure I have always to show up, uh, the risk disclaimer at least once during a webinar, um, we talk about trading, we talk about investment, but finally, uh, everything you do, you do on your own, on, on your own responsibility. I think that's self-explaining and, uh, yeah, you know uh, that uh, step as well. I think so. I, I'm pretty sure that you are. JFT West and the highlights of last week. Let's start today with the highlights because then uh, maybe you you get a little bit more curious about what's possible with uh, JFT Invest. So the highlight of last week um, was definitely the strategy Hyperion. And you see here our newsletter we send around uh, on a weekly basis. Uh, the top performer of last week was Hyperion with in Within one week, that strategy earned close to 18%. Well, that's a yield, yeah, and definitely. And you see already the um, growth versus time here, uh, more than a year history, <clears throat> which is good to have history with all those strategies, to have a real track record about any uh, trading strategy. You see already uh, a glimpse of uh, what's possible and uh, we will go for that strategy definitely when we show up uh, the complete platform and uh, have a closer view on what's going on with that strategy and uh, what are the trades uh, which are done within that strategy. But before let me explain you a little bit about JFD Invest. Uh, JFD Invest uh, you can find just going to the web page of JFD Bank, and then you find the button JFD Invest. Uh, that's quite easy. And uh, pressing that button, and you are directly already at uh, JFD Invest. And let me first scroll down because before I go to all the other details like guest access on sign up and the procedure of how to become part, let's first have a view on the strategies, the top five performing strategies at all here. And that's really a brilliant picture that we have. Trading strategies, not just showing up a few percent growth within a year, no. Um, you see the number of Hyperion here, and that's the number um, from from the last uh, overnight, uh, so from midnight, uh, that is really close to 100% growth uh, within a little bit more than one year. So hmm, that's a huge growth, that's huge yield within that account. But you see there are other strategies having uh, smaller numbers and further down the road, we will later see that we have in total 15 strategies you might follow. And the good thing is that 
you can set up your own portfolio. If you, for example, if you're just looking for growth and nothing else, um, of course, <laughs> I, I assume I would know which strategy you will choose. It would be Hyperion, uh, no question. But let's see a little bit more about the details, what's about equity balance deviation. And maybe there are other things we have to take into account, or at least you have to take into account. If you think about your preferences of what should be part of your JFD Invest portfolio. So what I personally recommend is, is not go into one single strategy, just follow a couple of strategies in order to diversify uh, even that kind of investment. Um, or even if there are strategies which are to some extent the portfolio um, inherently, so they, they are trading already a couple of uh, instruments, but nevertheless, it's good to um, to be diversified and um, to learn about your own preferences in terms of uh, drawdowns, what's your risk, what what amount of money are you willing to lose? I mean, that's, I know it's a strange question, but it's a quite important question. So what are your personal risk uh, key figures if you think about investing. Uh, there might be people uh, having a drawdown of 10%. They would say, oh, that's a nightmare. Not 10%. That's too much. That's too heavy. Uh, other may think, mm, oh, I can accept a 50% drawdown. No question. There's no good, no bad. It's your preference. And that we have to keep in mind if you select your strategies when you allocate the money to a given strategy. But you see already what's really possible with uh, JFD Invest. Let me briefly sh um, explain how to become part of JFD Invest. It's really quite easy. You open uh, a JFD Invest profile. So that's the sign up button. That's just your email and you give a password. Um, that's just for registration. Then. Uh, if you like, then you open um, a separate JFD Invest account. That's a special account because of two reasons. One reason is that you can only do trading in terms of following those strategies. Uh, you cannot do your own trades like uh, long trade euro, US dollar, or whatever. And the other special thing is that that account has a leverage of 1 to 100. So uh, you get the professional conditions because you are following professional traders and therefore, of course, you get the same conditions like them. Finally, you connect the two and then you can start following any strategy if you like. The good thing is that you have always the, the possibility to even use what we call a guest access. So you can learn a little bit more about JFD Invest and what potential strategies might something good for you um, just following that, that button. And then you see immediately the complete table of strategies. There are two pages, one and two. We have in total right now 15 strategies, um, adding up additional strategies about one per month uh, to open the possibility to even be more diversified if you like. But now I think it's time to, to have a view on what kind of key figures, what kind of numbers we offer uh, when it comes to those strategies. And you see, we have inception dates, it's self-explaining return that's uh, since inception, uh, of course, um, but we have to be fair because later we, we, we have to look how long is there are really trading activities within that account. Um, but we will see. Last month's result um, and the year to date. Uh, so that's uh, since 1st uh, January 2019. And uh, you see completely different numbers. Uh, and even the, the, the second best here has a year to date result. Not that good, but overall 50%, wow. So there must be something happened in between. So let's uh, look for, for that as well. And there's another key figure already on the first page, which is called the equity balance deviation. That's a really important one. Uh, let me explain a little bit about that. Um, you know, you open a trade and in the next millisecond, as always, you are in the minus. Um, 
if even the market is not moving around, then still you are in the minus. Why? Yeah, because you have to pay spreads, you have to pay costs like commissions or whatever. But anyhow, even within the next uh, seconds, um, hours or days, uh, the trade might be against you. So it's not doing what you expect uh, the underlying to do. And then we have what is called floating losses. That means we have um, non-booked losses uh, in our account. And this, this is a deviation between balance, which is always closed trades, and equity, including all open trades. And you see there might be a huge difference. That means that in the past, there have been temporarily floating losses. And in this case, up to 40%. Let's have a look to that a little bit more in detail. And let's discuss Hyperion as well, because it has been the top performing strategy of last week. I think that's definitely, uh, we have to uh, have a close look to that strategy. And just pressing the button gives you the next um, details about the strategy and all relevant key figures are collected here. It's important to have those key figures um, and that full transparency about any trading strategy because that's the only way that you can come to your own conclusions about any strategy. So it's good to have those details because those uh, you need for your own review process in order to decide according to my personal, your personal preferences, does it fit or not? So in this case, let's start. Um, Hyperion, perfect growth. Uh, we have exceeded already the 100% uh, percent, uh, uh, yesterday, um, at least uh, yeah, for one day. And now it's a little bit down uh, again. And yeah, that's, but anyhow, uh, perfect. The growth uh, is quite well, um, but we have to keep in mind, if you look to that, uh, that strategy, for example, for the first half of the year, if you have, would have started exactly here, there would have not, no return until that day. Uh, in between, yes, but then mm, uh, draw down. Anyhow, that's part of trading. So the, the reason why I even mention the bad things is I want to be transparent even with those details. It's important that we learn how trading strategies are running and if you have a high risk strategy and Hyperion is a high risk strategy because we have drawdowns of more than 40% and we learned already about equity balance deviation, uh, even uh, once again, more than 40%. So um, therefore I call it a high risk strategy. We can have a view, a close view on equity balance deviation by pressing that button. Then we can see that floating losses even versus time. And we see that this strategy has an average value that's um, uh, about 10 or maybe 15%. So we have to accept floating losses if you follow that kind of strategy. Okay, point taken. I mean, it's important to, to know that. And if you don't, if you would not accept that kind of risk, okay, then maybe you go to another strategy. There are other strategies with overall less return, but less return, but a little bit less volatile. So um, we have everything there. You see even the numbers uh, in the monthly return table. Um, yeah, most of them were green, which is well, but there are sometimes losses of 15% or 13 or 12. Okay. Um, that's part of your review process as well, to have those details and look for those details. The other thing you might be interested is in some more statistics about uh, this trading strategy at all. Uh, what I always have a look uh, for is uh, the number of trades that should be not too small, just because I don't want to follow a strategy with five lucky winner trades and uh, no, Definitely, this strategy does not belong to that uh, kind. Um, but we can look to the traded instruments as well. So even there, there might be preferences on your side. Um, if you want to have a strategy completely trading Forex, okay, then it would not be Hyperion. You will see there are other strategies. But if you like indices, uh, you see the 
majority of all trades are done in DAX and Dow Jones. So definitely that strategy uh, would be something for you, trading indices. Um, so number of trades, quite well. So very good. Trades, you can't see the closed trades or pending orders. Um, if you have a JFT Invest profile and you are connected to the strategy, of course, you will see them uh, as well. So that's one strategy and just a view on that. Let me let me give you another example uh, because uh, oh that's wrong. Uh, I promised to to show up with some more details about uh, some strategies and if you like you can mention one. I should definitely go a little bit more in detail in. Um, so let's let's go for a strategy which has been opened um, or which is new, um, Hesperus. Hesperus, I have no idea how to pronounce that name. Uh, let's go for that one here because this one is quite new. And even the strategy is new. And nevertheless, you see the strategy has a history. You will never find a strategy here with less history than six months um, because, of course, uh, we cannot show up with a one-month track record of a strategy. And you see, in this case, um, okay, doing a good job the last six months uh even in the growth you, we can see some drops south those might be floating losses and you see what i'm doing if i um, think about that might be floating losses i just uh, click on equity balance deviation and yes we see exactly on those dips we have um, that kind of behavior and we may have another view on that that is we look for equity um, and then we get two lines two unfortunately green lines uh, and one is a balance you can see the upper line is a balance and the lower line is the equity and the difference is exactly the floating losses so the equity balance deviation so what you can learn out of that is directly that as we speak we have um a difference between balance and equity that means we have floating losses there are open trades uh, that you can see already if you look here um, balance and um, detail uh, and, and equity then you see there are 700 um, euro difference that means there are open trades with a minus of in total of uh, minus 700 euros but anyhow the strategy is over time really doing a great job but once again, has from time to time floating losses, and now we have values up to 40% reached um, when, let's have a view of that. That was at the early beginning. Here we have had um, that kind of floating losses. What are the instruments traded? Uh, let's have a view on that as well. Then you see, oh, that are strange uh, pairs, or maybe not that strange, but at those pairs are more minor pairs, Australian dollar, New Zealand dollar, um, British pound, Canadian dollar, yeah, and even Euro British pound, if you have a view on that Forex pair, um, then you will see over a long time since the history that this has been, yeah, quite a flat behavior. So all those four pairs are not trendy pairs. Those pairs are not acting wild in one direction. So go up and down, up and down, wiggling around, something like that. But um, and the good thing is that kind of strategy is using exactly that kind of behavior in order to get profitable trades. That we have to, from, some, uh, from time to time, those uh, floating losses, okay, we have to take into account. But nevertheless, it's less than the other one, for example, but not the same profit. So. Um, what I always do if I look to tables like that, um, I do a quick calculation. It's really easy. I just divide return by equity balance deviation. And in principle, the higher the number, the quotient, um, the better the strategy. Yeah, but what means better? I mean, that's once again the question of your preference. If you just looking for a return, then still Hyperion would be the best one as as it is here the number one in that list. But if you 
compare return on equity balance deviation. Uh, so that's a little bit something like a risk reward ratio. Uh, then you see there are other strategies having other there yeah, are quotients. So brimstone, for example, there we have a factor of three in between, Hyperion factor of two, um, Hesperus factor of two, but we have strategy like gold mine, there's a factor of four in between. So yeah, there are differences in those strategies. Um, and that is part of your review process. Finally, I will go for example for gold mine because uh, we saw that uh, that strategy has an equity balance deviation not that high uh, as we speak. Uh, you learn how to read the numbers. Uh, there are floating losses of about 70 euros within that strategy. The strategy is trading um, a huge list of uh, pairs, uh, forex pairs, and gold is uh, so one commodity is uh, within that strategy as well. But uh, it's a nice strategy, I think. Okay, there have been a drawdown, but recovery was uh, within um, less than four months, which is always good to have that short recovery time after a drawdown. And finally, I want to present you one additional detail under the bottom details because I do not want to hide the there is a performance we involved if you follow strategies which is 25% but the good thing is it's a performance fee so only if the strategy is earning money you have you would have to pay that fee and additionally that fee is uh, calculated by a high watermark of a month's end base that means only if you reach uh, new highs on a month's end base or if you leave uh, if you stop a strategy in between then with new highs you would have to pay fees and only in this case so other things you can learn is how many people are invested in the strategy and uh, what is the total amount of money under management uh, AUM even that you can learn here as well I promised that I uh, want to share with you um, my personal JFD Invest account, that we have a view on that as well, uh, because it's always interesting uh, to see what's possible with JFD Invest. And that's the reason why I have that, that account. And you see, um, my JFD Invest account, which is indeed the portfolio, and you will see in a minute my allocation table, so the table of which strategies I'm following right now. And But before, uh, showing that one, you see the overall growth in terms of balance, meaning I started with the very beginning of JFT in West uh, in September last year. So now after eight months or uh, close to nine months, uh, I have um, earned uh, uh, close to 4,000 euros. And if you have a view uh, on return, you think, oops, why is there 46? That, that doesn't fit together. The difference is the performance fee. So that what is shown up here within that graph is a net result. Uh, so I could take out exactly that uh, amount and um, yeah, I would realize finally my profit of close to 4,000 euros. With, that is really cool. Um, within eight months. And you see there's quite stable growth. And the other good thing is what you can do always if you are within JFD and Western if you have your own JFD Invest account, you can analyze by pressing the button View Performance Analysis. You can analyze your JFD Invest account in the same way um, than any other strategy. Uh, let me s try to redo it. Uh, doing a webinar and going on the internet is always uh, a little bit of a problem. So sometimes it takes a little bit longer and now here we are. And I don't want to hide, as we speak, I have equity balance deviation within my account as well. You see um, some higher number here. But I think if you once again uh, calculates the quotient between return and equity balance deviation. Mm, that's a factor of four. Uh, that's a cool result. And um, let's have a view what's the reason for that one. And that, if I go here down the road, you can see open positions. And uh, if I um, 
order them by name, then you will see it's FX Global, which is the reason for lots of open trades and uh, there are floating losses within that strategy and therefore within my account as well. I promise to show the allocation table. Uh, so right now I am following five strategies, FX Global we learned already, and that one has a floating um, loss right now. So um, let's see about that. And then we have other strategies like Neptune, Hesperus, Gold Rush, and so on. So you see, um, that's my allocation and that's diversification for my account. And I think that is a key element to have that kind of growth. Let's assume worst case scenario. For example, if FX Global would totally crash, um, okay, let's think about that then i would lose more or less my my total profit of the last eight months which i really would not like but that belongs even to high risk um, portfolios as well and what i'm doing here is a portfolio targeting for such growth is still a high risk portfolio if we if I would follow strategies which are not that aggressive, more down the road here, more like a Neptune, Power FX, um, then you could calm down your, your account, but on the cost of growth. So you would not get that uh, uh, growth like I have on this account. So it's once again, as always, a question of what is my risk uh, behavior, so what kind of risk I'm willing to accept. And then we can look what kind of returns we can get out, out of that risk. And it's life. I mean, the higher the risk, the higher the potential return. Uh, that's, um, yeah, that's always true when it comes to trading. Anyhow, I think it still looks good. Um, I hope that... Um, Next week I can show up again 50% uh, gross profit here uh, within the next webinar. And if you have any further questions, please do not hesitate. Send me an email to s.friedrichowski at jfdbank.com. Uh, you saw my uh, email address on my first page. Or you just um, send an email to support at jfdbank.com. And even if you then say um, that's for Stefan, no problem, they will forward that message to me. So that's for now. I hope you like it. And if you have um, any questions, yeah, as mentioned, send me an email. And anyhow, I wish you a wonderful evening and um, see you hopefully back next week. Have a good time. Bye-bye.